Good afternoon, Great Aids, and I hope I'll find you very well. Welcome to Geometry of Straight Lines. It is one of the most exciting topics in Grade 8, and let us start. Today, I'm going to introduce you to three theorems. Let us look at slide one. Theorem number one. If two lines are straight and they cross each other, then the vertically opposite angles are equal. You should also be able to write the reason properly. As you can see on the right hand side of the slide, vertically opposite angles equal. You can also see where I have drawn below here. Those two lines are straight lines. And there are two angles, angle one and angle two. If you see on the right, I have written angle one equals angle two. Reason, vertically opposite angles equal. Let's go to theorem number two, angles on straight lines. The theorem says the adjacent angles on a straight line are supplementary. What does that mean? It means if you add the angles on one side of the straight line, the answer is 180 degrees. So the word supplementary simply means 180 degrees. The acceptable reason when you use this theorem is angles on a straight line. If you see the example that I gave down here, we have three angles, angle one, angle two, and angle three. Therefore, angle one plus angle two plus angle three equals 180 degrees why they are adjacent angles on a straight line. Let us go to our theorem number three for today. The theorem says the adjacent angles in a revolution add up to 360 degrees. You need to remember what a revolution is. It is simply a round or a circle. There are two possible reasons that you may write if you use this theorem. First reason, angles round a point or angles in a revolution. Next slide. In your book, this is page 91. New books and those who are using the old books, the students without the textbooks, I've attached page 133 for my old book, as you can see. On figure one, we have three angles, angle one, angle two, and angle three. So if you add those angles, one plus two plus three, you get 180 degrees. Those are adjacent angles on a straight line. The next diagram, where two lines are crossing each other and there are four angles, one, two, three, and four. Angle one is the same as angle three, they are vertically opposite angles, and angle two is the same as angle four. Where there's an, a red arrow here, I want to introduce you to a concept of perpendicular. Perpendicular is a mathematical concept, which means 90 degrees. So if two angles are perpendicular to each other, it means the other angle is 90 degrees, then the other angle is 90 degrees. Slide five. Here is an example. Determine the size of angle A, B, C. If you look carefully between the three theorems I've talked about, you'd agree with me that those are angles at a point or around a point. So what do you do? You add all the three angles and equate the answer to 360 degrees. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Thank you.